Hello, my friend. Well, we're just returning from Cuba, our spiritual retreat cruise. It was one of the best ever, magical in every way. It's been a bucket list thing for me for a long time to go to Cuba, and I know many of the people on board felt the same way. They wanted to see Cuba. One woman, a dear woman on board, had been in Cuba in 1958, and she was going to recall what it was like and to see now what it was like. It was absolutely beautiful. First of all, the people were so beautiful. They were so welcoming, so loving, and they were happy. Uh, it, an incredible happiness uh, was with the people everywhere we went. On the first port, we circumnavigated Cuba on our cruise ship, the Oceana Serena. We went to a copper mining town, some of us did, and to visit a cathedral high in the mountains. The first thing that I saw in Cuba was the lushness, uh, the incredible beauty. As you went into the countryside, the mountains, and um, you would not pass much traffic other than maybe a horse and a cart or a mule and a cart, and um, you would drive up into the mountains. The lush trees were blooming. Uh, there was a green that was just like something you would see in Ireland. It was uh, one of the luscious, most beautiful places I've ever been. Cuba is a, an immensely big place. It is 825 miles long, the largest Caribbean island. And it has a diverse uh, 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 topography uh, from high, high mountains to flat. Well, the first places we went had the mountains. And this one cathedral that we went to they were having a special service, and I couldn't find out what that was. It was on a Tuesday, midday, and people would bring sunflowers to this, this wonderful cathedral to, to worship. And it was uh, something very special to be a part of. And then we went down into town, and I had some of the best coffee I've ever had in my life an espresso and it was only a dollar which was one of the great deals ever and then we got back on the ship we sailed to the next port and then the next port i went to the niche falls the niche falls are these incredibly high falls in the mountains and uh i have a new iphone 10 uh, that ha supposedly has the best camera that you could ever get, well, I would look through the viewfinder and it could not capture the color, the clarity, the, the atmosphere that was all around me. And I was on a cliff and I was trying real hard to capture the 16 waterfalls going down the mountain and then the lake in the distance. And I was, everybody had walked ahead because I was still trying to get the perfect picture. And I stepped off the cliff. <laughs> they, they laughed because, and it was funny because I apparently bounce as I fall. And I'm, I'm fine. I'm, uh, you know, I got a little scarred up and so on. But, uh, you know, I, I got my picture. <laughs> it's, you know, it, that type of thing. In the moment when you're screaming going down the cliff, it's a bad thing. But, but later on, you know, it's just something you smile about and it makes life an adventure. And it was an adventure. Then, then we got to Havana, and I got to ride in a 1955 Pontiac convertible. Uh, it, we did so many things in Havana. We had excursions literally from morning till night. One day, I had three excursions that I went on. 
that ended up uh, not ending the third excursion until about one o'clock in the morning. We went to the world famous Tropicana nightclub. Life is an adventure. Life is something to thank God for every moment. And whether you're at home in the town that you know very well or you're in a new place exploring for the first time, make it special. Make it an adventure. I always say to myself, even when I'm reluctant to do something, I say, this is an adventure. This is exciting. I'm excited. And it changes your whole makeup inside. It helps you to open up to God's wonderful blessings that will come instead of you blocking them ahead of time. So I pray that life for you is an adventure. I pray that you go on many excursions during the day like I did and you discover new things. You can do this by driving to work a new way by going places that you wouldn't ordinarily go in the same town, by searching out and looking for new things to do. I make it a habit. I look at the Sunday paper and I see the free events that are happening around town. And I'll search them out and I'll especially search out things that I haven't done before. I'll go to Home Depot and I will uh, uh, take classes like wallpaper hanging and, and different things that I don't know anything about, but I'm willing to learn. And I always have fun. I always meet new people and it makes life rich. I pray that for you. I pray that you have a rich life filled with adventure, filled with something that excites you at a soul level. God bless you.